All right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give our glory, honor, and infinite praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, with Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well, laboring 100% doctrine, how love is true for them. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing his truth and our righteousness and in sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Shalom to the sincere Akwaf, the few sisters coming back being silent as the scriptures commanded them to be. Okay, I'm the Akim Ha'amayan, and this morning I have an edifying lesson. Lord willing it be, uh, it's, it's been breaking news. The name of this video is, um, the name of this video is Man Stabbed Six in New Zealand Terror Attack 49 minutes ago. Okay, bring a few scriptures out and just close the lesson out. Like we're, in, we're, in, we're in bad, evil times, and they're only going to grow. It's only going to increase and get worse because the day of the Lord is near. Judgment is at hand, and it's time to wake up, man, okay? So, Lord, willing to be an edifying lesson, okay? Play this video. In a New Zealand supermarket, the suspect was already on the terror watch list. This comes as fears are growing here at home as we approach the 20th anniversary of 9-11. James Longman has the latest for us this morning. Good morning, James. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, this was a terror attack in the middle of the afternoon at a supermarket in a quiet neighborhood of Auckland in New Zealand. A man grabbed a knife from a shelf and just started stabbing people randomly. He stabbed six people before he himself was shot dead. Sadly, three of those people are now in the hospital in a critical condition. But what is extraordinary here is that he was already on a terror watch list. He had extremist views, an ISIS sympathizer, and for that reason, he was under constant police supervision. So actually, police were at the supermarket at the time. They just thought he was going shopping. Uh, now, it's understood that he was a uh, Sri Lankan national. He'd been in, uh, in New Zealand for 10 years, been put on the terror watch list five years ago. And so there are big questions now in New Zealand around just how you can monitor these kinds of people to keep the public at large safe. Cecilia. Okay, James, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George. See? Hey, man, it's going down out here. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. It reads, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any can deliver. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay. The Lord is doing this, man. Yahweh Basham Al Shah is doing this. The Lord is doing this, man. And people fail to realize that the Lord is not all about love, man. It's balanced. The Lord create evil and good. Isaiah chapter 45 and 7. We're going to keep on bringing these precepts out. We're going to keep on bringing these scriptures out because y'all fail to realize that our Lord, Yahweh, who is the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly called God, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Y'all fail to realize that, that, that our high power is doing this, man. Okay? The Lord is not just no uh, power of love, man. The Lord loves them that follow his ways. The Lord loves them that do what he say do. The Lord hate evil, man. The Lord hate sinners, man. The Lord hate iniquity. Sin on top of sin on top of sin. The Lord hate Esau, Edom. So-called white man. Lord hate two thirds of his own people, cause you cho you choosing the ways of Esau Edom. This is judgment, man. Your local pastor ain't telling y'all this, man. He telling you to cut all your hair off your face and get bald heads, man. Okay. He telling you to come as you are. These false Israelite camps ain't telling y'all what's going on, man. They they too busy trying to look alike, dress the same type of colors. Everybody got on pretty garments and things like that and that nature. This ain't the time to be pretty. This the time to be pushing 100% truth, waking up Israel, lifting up their voice like a trumpet, man, showing Israel their transgressions, man. Okay? Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Out of Lord Yahweh. Do all these things, man. The Lord, man, doing this, man. Yahweh Bashamal Shah is doing these things, man. The man stabbed six people and he got put to death, man. Okay? The Lord is doing these things, man. 
okay? That what y'all fail to realize, man. This is a high time to wake up out of sleep, man. The Lord is sending judgment out, man. Okay? Uh, Zephaniah chapter 3. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. It reads, The just Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. He fell of not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Okay? Every morning, man. Every morning do the Lord bring his judgment to light, man. Every morning. This just it's breaking news. This just happened 43, 40 some minutes ago. Okay? The Lord bring his judgment to light every morning, man. The Lord is doing this every day. Okay? So y'all got to realize, man, it's going to get worse, man. The scriptures also say what, uh, because the iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, man. It's going to be on your street corner, in your neighborhood, your neighbors, your house. This is this is this is prophecy, man. This got to happen. This is happening, man. It's only going to get worse, man. Cause y'all fail to come back and listen to Yahweh by Shemaiah Shai. You thinking the Lord ain't paying attention? The Lord don't sleep, man. The Lord don't never sleep. He's always busy. You, you ain't no searching of the Lord understanding, man. It's judgment time, man. These things are about to get. It's. Things are about to get bad out here, man. Things are about to get bad out here, man. Um, let me grab. Let me grab um, second edges. Um, second edges. Chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the, word of, the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. And these are words of prophecy, man. Okay, telling you what's coming. Okay, Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, Esau, Edom coming down with great wrath, man. The implementation of the mark of the beast, the MOTB. Our second coming, the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. Two-thirds of the nation of Israel again put to death. That's prophecy, man. Okay? That's prophecy. In verse 2, it say, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Okay, verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And this is, and this is not a faithful generation, man. Especially Israel. The only nation the Lord chose and care about, man. Okay? The only nation the Lord chose and care about. You got, I'm in the city of Columbia, Georgia. It's a shooting. It's a killing every night. And it's all over the world, man. It's not just in Columbus. But, man, judgment is being brought out every day, man. The Lord is bringing heavy judgment every day. The Lord is not playing, man. The Lord, Yahweh Bashamah Shah, is not playing. Verse 5, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, what is the sword? Okay? The modern day sword is, uh, is, is the sword is any killing instrument. Okay? All type of guns. Famine. A famine of the word is coming. A famine of food is coming. Death and destruction. For wickedness has it, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled verse 7 therefore said the Lord I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves behold the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually and who is that, man? The hopeful elect, man. The 144,000 men, 12,000 men out of each tribe pushing 100% truth on the four ends of the earth. And that great innumerable multitude that consists of the one third, man. Men, women, and children. Okay, you sincere believers out there that are trying to make your calling and election sure by being diligent, man. Giving diligence. 
being rooted and being grounded, man, having faith in the names of Yahweh Shemai Shai, knowing your family and people and whoever is against it, man. That's why the scripture said a couple of verses above it said, All the faithful shall die, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. They don't care about what we represent. But it's okay, man, because in the days to come, we're gonna stand out like a so thumb. We're gonna stand out like a so thumb in these days, man, because you're gonna know that a prophet have been among you the whole time telling you this, man. Like I was just watching the video earlier from a, a, a brother and, 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 and um, that was bringing out one of them false counts, one body of house shy. Uh, and just to be honest, because uh, it ain't no shame in my game. Um, before I got, like about three, four years ago, I started watching one body of house shy was the first count that uh, I knew, I, I, the, the first count that I found out we we are Israel, but they, but they they don't have a hundred percent truth, man. So it was ordained for me to get the hundred percent truth. The Lord didn't have to give me the hundred percent truth, and I'm only speaking on that because, man, these people out here are are caught up in false doctrines, man. Them teachers, them false teachers, man, them false prophets, y'all gonna pay for that. Y'all saying in y'all video earlier what the brother had made a response to that the fact that um y'all saying. Oh, you got teachers that have been doing this since 1969. Um, roughly paraphrasing, y'all, you saying that uh, y'all, y'all, te the teachers of Great Millstone, the elders and apostles are, 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 are basically going off in a sense. We ain't, they ain't teaching 100% truth. They're lying. They're, they're doing the same thing as, 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 as niggas on a, on a corner at a, at a corner store. Oh, and then they're going to say, Teach y'all uh, to hard tell tell these people to get uh, lineups and haircuts. What are that in the scripture, man? That's why the scripture said, "Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually." Man, the Lord's finna do something to y'all, man. The Lord's finna do something to you, false prophets, two thirds of his own people, Esau, Edom, along with you damn heathens, man. The Lord is sick of this place, man. Lord is sick of this place, man. And it's on the Lord's time, man. I be will, man. I I brought this out, man. Lord willing, man. Uh, all you people get put in y'all place except you repent, man. Because if you don't repent, man, you got judgment coming for you, man. Just know that. If y'all don't repent, man, and be converted and, 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 and ask y'all about shot for, for sincere forgiveness, and you come back with a sincere heart, which is your mind, man, you're going to be put to death, man. You're going to pay for them words, man. Okay? Just know, man, heavy judgment is finna be brought out, man, on men, women, and children, man. Your families are all of y'all, man. Because you chose to not fear the Lord, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, so like you for me, Ram, man. Lord willing, there was an edifying lesson. I just wanted to get that off my chest and set the record straight, man, because um, a lot of people are hating that the Lord is dealing with a, a, a remnant, man. And y'all trying to establish y'all own righteousness, man. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. Serving is not greater than the Lord, man. You're not above y'all shy. Okay, so come back like a newborn babe and be reborn, man. And be humble and repent. If not, you got judgment on the way. So with that being said, I would like to give our praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine who we learned this truth from. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing the truth and now righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth scattered abroad. Okay. And shalom to the sincere Aquaf, the few sisters coming back being silent as the scriptures commanded them to be. Okay. Shalom, Ababa Baal, Kwam Yasha Allah, Barak Ka Akim, Shalom, keep the faith.